The time is finally upon us. The video you've all been waiting for. The culmination of a year's worth of listening to a random dude spout out nonsense. You've been waiting to see this, so here it is. Oh, that's not what you came here to see? Okay, fine. Top 5 Android Games of 2018 So many fantastical games have released this past year, making this low-budget YouTuber proud to call himself a finger-flicking gamer. This list does not account for all the games released in 2018. It's my personal list. Some may agree with it, while others may throw it out like stale cat food. So without further ado, here's my list for the best Android games of 2018. Let's start with some honorable mentions. First, Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Even with its auto system and sorta gotcha mechanics, I still had a great time turn-based battling with classic heroes. A mobile game for the new kids that makes this old kid feel like a kid again. Sure, that statement makes sense. Next is PUBG Mobile, a mobile port that I enjoyed way more than the PC version. The controls are manageable, the action is great, and the constant updates makes this portable battle royale game a must play. I contemplated adding it to the list, it definitely deserves a spot. However, I wanted this list to represent the best of traditional mobile gaming, not necessarily ports. Okay, now for the real deal. Number 5. Asphalt 9 Legends The Asphalt series has become the epitome of the mobile racing genre. Asphalt 9 is no exception. The arcade racing gives the player an adrenaline rush that only Vinny Dom can comprehend. Boost, crash, flip, and drift your way through exotic locations, and feel a sense of accomplishment due to the challenge system and its rewards. The game even boasts a competitive multiplayer portion. I did find an issue with the newly added auto drive feature, an issue easily resolved by ignoring it. Now the fast, furious gameplay isn't the only reason this game made the list. Pour NOS over my eyes and engulf my sight in the fantastic graphical presentation. Cars are shiny metallic machines, and environments are pleasing tours of sightseeing. The game thrives on cars and racetracks, and it does a great job of letting the player take in the fabulous sights. I mean, come on. Raindrops, puddles of water, explosive destruction, and car degradation. It's all here, and it's legendary. Number 4. Hero Hunters Upon my initial review, I gave this game a give it a try rating. Since that video, I've come to cherish this gem for embracing its Gears of War copycat roots. This third person cover shooter is just plain fun. With an assortment of classes, players take down waves of baddies while ducking for cover, switching between heroes, and destroying scumbag bosses. Experimenting with newly acquired heroes is great, and the progression feels natural. Throw in actual entertaining PvP battles, and we have an Expendables action game that makes your fingers feel like a beefy buff 90s action star. The graphics are also top notch. It's a vibrant world of colorful characters and explosive set pieces. Polygon counts add muscular power to the character models, and the special effects blast your eyeballs with testosterone goodness. If you somehow missed this game, then may I suggest channel your inner Sly Stallone and download it. Number 3. Lost Socks a game about a heroic sock looking for its missing brother to complete a pair. It's a goofy premise, complete with laundry puns. What unfolds is an endless runner that made me believe endless runners can be more than mindless play. Run, jump, slide, and shoot as you make your way to the dryer. I had an absolute blast with this game. The more I played, the more badass I felt. Jumping in sock first with deadly weapons, zooming through levels by the skin of my cotton, was both exhilarating and downright rewarding. The difficulty stiffens like a crusty sock, and soon I started replaying levels to earn top skid marks. Then there's the cartoony earthworm graphics, an attention to detail that enhances the overall experience. Backgrounds, foregrounds, character movements, and everything in between just add to the gameplay. Lost Socks gave me hope in a genre that otherwise sits at the bottom of a laundry basket. Number 2. Shadow Gun Legends The demise of Destiny may be a thing in the console PC market, yet the rise of Legends has shown us that certain genres can excel in the mobile market. Shadowgun Legends busted through with its over-the-top first-person shooting action and a persistent online universe to play with. Sure, it's a series of wave-based levels, yet the massive loot and reward system begs you to play more. Add co-op to the mix, and blasting with friends ups the ante. Heck, why not add multiplayer battles for teabagging fun? Or a co-op horde mode for massive loot, big giant bosses, puzzle-like co-op, endless missions, gear hoarding, the list goes on. Or just wander the central hub, make friends, Ends, dual enemies, I mean I could just keep going. Plus Madfinger Games has done a phenomenal job of updating the game and listening to player feedback. 
It's the closest I've seen to a fully thought out console quality game for mobile. I haven't even started on the graphics, and I don't really need to. Just look at it. Okay, one for the fans. It's fantastical alien eye bulging goodness. I didn't have many one-liners, puns, or jokes for this one. I take my shadow gunning very serious with a side of alien scumbag headshots. Number 1. Honkai Impact 3rd If you are surprised by this choice, then you must have forgot that Tiny loves himself an anime-tastic mobile game. Honkai Impact delivers on every anime geek's dream. A third-person button-smashing brawler with more content than One Piece. Okay, not that much content. Take your anime summons to demolish crazy evildoers with combo attacks, tag team specials, and super duper kitty paw punches. Compared to other tap brawlers, the combat feels more fluid, and tapping certain sequences actually results in combos. The stage-based battles aren't the only trick up its magical sleeve. There's a story adventure mode, a dorm room mode, try not to think too much about it, and an upgrade stat system that made me want to keep high kicking for more attachments. The combat and the content is enough for any fan in this genre, yet the anime-ish graphics are the sweet Sailor Moon cake that fills my belly with joy. These are some of the best, if not the best, 3D cell shaded anime graphics I've seen to date. Super colorful, super duper unique, and even better, the animations look and feel as if you're playing an anime, an aspect I adore. This game rises above fan service. I don't even care if it's gotcha. I'm just glad I'm able to beat down waves of cyborg unicorns as a badass anime goddess. All these reasons are why Honkai Impact 3rd is my favorite, and in my opinion, the best Android game of 2018. So what did you folks think of this list of epic Android games? Did your favorite make the list? What do you consider your best games of the year? Leave a comment below, and let's discuss all the games of 2018 that made us proud to be mobile gamers. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more videos, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I am super grateful to be able to make videos for you fine folks. The amount of comments this past year has truly inspired me to continue my dream. So thank you, and let's destroy 2019 to 5k subscribers and beyond.